Hello, my lovelies. I'm Ginny O, the author with no last name, and this is another Let's Play of Big Farm. Now, last time... Whoa! Hooray! We got a farming token for some reason. These are used to regulate licenses for new farm products. It's a bit bureaucratic, but some we have to keep track of them. So. Uh, there's a couple glitches to this, I've noticed. Um, it's in beta. <laughs> but uh, th we are playing Big Farm Story, the farming game with a story by Good Game Studios. And uh, so I ran around and I uh, made sure to grab some things while well, I used a painting. And then we took a very early night of it. And I noticed a treasure chest over here. There, there, there it is. Yes, so some roofing slates. Thank you. You need roofing slates. So I was able to get enough sap for Jacob, and we've now done gotten enough carrots so we can mm -hmm. fill out a couple of these uh more of these mm -hmm. deliveries. Last, like I said last time, we learned all about how to take care of our chicken, including the windmill. Let's give... Here you go, Jacob. Here is some excellent glue tree resin from glue. And he is going to give you some more animal feed. And we are now level 12. Um, let's see. Let's go to the construction which, of course, it... <laughs> what the world? I don't know what's going on with this thing. It seems a little weird. But now that we have um, up to our friendship with Jacob, he has a little heart over his head, which means he has an antidote class. But we also need to finish up our uh, giving stuff to Lydia. And let's see. Um she wasn't really liking the flowers. So let's let's give her some cotton. Let's see what she likes. Mm. Um uh, she Becky another four. This might take another day. <laughs> but we can grab some cotton. Alright. So let's go talk to Matilda because we now have eggs. For her special shampoo for Mo. <laughs> this very spoiled alpaca. He has such an attitude. He is such a, you know, he's just like this snazzy little, um, <laughs> snazzy, the snazzy uh. alpaca. So, and he wants, she wants, there we go. And now we've done this. <laughs> So we can talk to Matilda. Uh -huh. Hello, my dear. What can I do for you today? So it's fluffy eggs and about the market. Uh -huh. Oh, you are such a gem. With all the new customers, the town feels much more alive again. I don't know what I would have done without your help, Jenny. I'm just so happy you're doing so well, Matilda. Is there anything else I can yeah. do for you? Just keep on sending farm products to me, and I will make sure to put them in good hands. Yay! All right, fluffy eggs. I've got some eggs for you. <laughs> Lovely, you really are a darling. Most fleece will be shining in no time. I'm happy to help, really, and I'm sure Mo will look splendid. Oh, yeah. Indeed, and now that we have eggs, you can fulfill even more contracts at the market. <laughs> With everything you've done, I'm naming you Helper of the Month. Oh, thank you. And here comes somebody with red hair. She's wearing glasses. So it's very smart looking. Hey, hey Matilda in her in her little outfit. Rita, is that you? <laughs> I brought your new glasses. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Finally, Ginny has been waiting for news of Walter. Mm. Walter? I don't get what your glasses have to do with him. Well, my grandpa is missing, and Matilda has a letter from him she couldn't read without glasses. Uh -huh. 
missing. That's strange. I'm Rita, by the way. Rita Mercury, local reporter. Oh. All right, wait, let me read this now. Dear Matilda, it's done. I'm prepared. Found nearly everything in the woods and bought the rest from the rusty hook. And to think of that, and that all started with this cooking magazine. Life is too short, hmm. Matilda. Hmm, that's all. Strange. <gasps> oh, how exciting. This is the kind of story my newspaper needs. Exciting? My grandfather is missing. I'm worried about him. I do like a good mystery, but we have to hurry. I hope my grandpa is all fine. I'm, I'm exciting? <laughs> this is not exciting, sweetie. This is... We are worried. Uh -huh. But maybe he gave us this puzzle on purpose. I'm sure he's fine. Isn't he, Matilda? Uh -huh. Walter's just fine. I'm sure of that. But this letter doesn't make much sense. Uh -huh. I'll do some research on the clues. Come to my caravan when you're ready to discuss it. Rita's caravan over here. This is her van. This is where she lives. And runs her little newspaper, I guess. Isn't it quite cute? It's raining when she's got the door to hop up. Alright. Well. <sighs> Have you thought about the clues? Hmm. Well, hello, Detective Ginny. Are you ready to unleash your inner sleuth? My what? Elementary, my dear Rita. Or usually my inner sloth is unleashed. All right, let's do it with elementary, my dear Rita. Uh -huh. Excellent! We are the perfect team. This puzzle will be a no-brainer. Uh -huh. So Walter left us three clues. The cooking magazine, purchases at the Rusty Hook, and a visit to the woods. About the cooking magazine. Uh -huh. There's only one person in Chessman Group. The cooking magazine could be related to Claire Cuisine. Where can I find Claire? Claire will be in her restaurant, Petite Four, next to the town hall. Got the Rusty hmm. Hook. The little Rusty Hook is a store down by the beach. You should go there and ask about the purchases Walter mentioned. <gasps> and remember, a good detective notices every little detail. Oh. The woods are big and there was a storm, so we'll need a tracker to help. There's a tracker in town? Hmm? Of hmm? course, hmm. the best one. Ezra, the dog that belongs to the shepherds. No offense to yours, though. But we need a pro here. Take Walter's envelope to Ezra so he can pick up his scent. <laughs> Come back to me as soon as you learn more about the clue. <laughs> now go and follow the leads. The game is afoot. <laughs> <sighs> well, it's nice to level up. It's a good thing we don't really need a great deal of energy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um, let's look at our... Here. We have one construction token and one farming token. And I am concerned that there is a bug where it's not actually mm. registering them. So I would like to buy corn and we'll see if this will we'll buy an upgrade for the fourth field. area and yes that's what I thought it's not registering quite properly still the construction tokens and the farming tokens so I mean you might want to just use them as you get them um <laughs> I don't know so we can talk to Claire at the Petite Four we can go down to the Rusty Hook and we need to go to talk to Ezra so this is one of those, we have now have lots because before we can finish up this quest, we have to follow all three clues. So, hmm. where shall we start? In more market practice. Well, let's go down to the Rusty Hook. No, no. <laughs> so, this is the Rusty Hook, and it's um, a little tab, but it's kind of like the boardwalk area. Not much here. Some houses. Sea buckthorn. Sea buckthorn is a real vitamin bomb and a great remedy, but be careful when gathering it. It's named after a thorn for a reason. So there's, you know, there's like some really kind of neat little areas you can look at here. You, you know, you can 
you know, so there's a place you can't get to. <laughs> there's but some houses, and there's this dock. Let's go down onto the dock, and, all, and there should be a lighthouse to it, according to the map. And down here at the end of the dock is a fisherman. Hi, my name is Jenny. Ahoy, you can call me Pike. What can I do you for? I think my grandfather came here to buy some supplies for the yeah. And who exactly might your grandfather be, matey? Oh, Walter. He owns, well, owned the farm near the woods. He's been missing for a few days. Mm. Missing, you say? A shame. But we want a tight ship. <laughs> I can't give out customer details to anyone claiming to be family. But it's important. I'm worried about him, and one of your our only clues is he was at your store. <laughs> all right, all right, hold your water. You can prove you're not sailing under false colors by doing your favor. I guess. What do you need? Bait! Those little critters crawling around. Bring me fresh worms, and I'll reconsider your request. So we need to gather eight worms, which we can do by digging up sand areas, and dirt areas, which... They look exactly the same, but what do you know? And, um, let's see, we can, there's some more bushes over here. So let's go down and, oh, this, here's a bridge all the way over here, and here's the worms. Such cute little quitters. We have a worm box behind the house where the worms process our organic waste and reproduce. Our garden soil always looks forward to the baby worms. Hannah. Not the one you would expect, but okay. Then Hannah. And then there's another one here. But there's something up here on this little cliff, and I think it's the lighthouse. Oh, there's a treasure chest halfway buried back here. And it gives you lots of money. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> That's nice. Nice that. So up here is the lighthouse, which is kind of cool looking at it. So there you go, you can see, you know, over here there's even a, yet another deep kind of bay area where you could put a boat in, I think, if you were very, very careful. But, so this is, you know, this is the Rusty Cook area, the houseboat, some stuff on the shore. I, I mean, there's not, there's not much to... This looks like it could be a restaurant, maybe, or a bar, some houses. Oh, but there's a, there's a piece of paper. What's this? Nathan had better be right about all this. Eat food high in antioxidants. Car carrots, pumpkin, eggs. Eye exercises. See the next page. Rest my eyes more often. Just close and warm and get some sleep. Easier said than done. Uh, okay. I have no idea. Somebody is trying to improve their eyesight. <laughs> Looks like. Alright, so we need to gather some worms. <sighs> Let's talk to Claire. No. This is catastrophe. How will I ever fix this? Hello, my name is Ginny. I'd like to. No, I'm sorry. I do not have time for customers. I'm not a customer. I'm looking for my grandfather. <gasps> Your grandpapa? There is no one here. And I might not serve anyone again. Can you not feel that? Feel? Oh. Oui! My restaurant! It is in ruins! The storm has messed up its chocolate sleep for two! <sighs> yes, I can feel it very clearly. I really don't know what you're talking about. Um, the chakras are probably not the only thing messed up here. <clears throat> So obviously there are three different kind of ways this can play out. <laughs> Do you believe in the spirituality of buildings? Do you? Okay. Sure. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> you're a little crazy. <laughs> yes, I can feel it clearly. Parfait, you're already attuned. Such a clear power week. A cleansing ritual. This will fix my restaurant, but I need rare items for ooh la la. Maybe I could help. I've gotten good at gathering items. Oui? Por que pas? Oh yes, okay. But your body must be ready before collecting for the clovers. My 
body. Mm -hmm. Great. It is important that you collect the clovers with a warm body. First, do some digging. Well, we need worms, so digging is a thing we need to do. Digging? For what? <laughs> Try digging for horseradish. Then, when warm, collect the fresh clovers. I, but, fine. But you look for the magazine, okay? Mm -hmm. well, magazine? Okay, if this is important to you, I will help how I can. Yes, mm. that is Claire. She is very French. She is also wearing donut earrings, which is kind of really kind of cute. And mm. uh, I, I just kind of, you know, she's a very, I don't know, she's a very mm. cute character. Without being like a, I don't know, a complete <sighs> stereotype? I don't know. That's, so now we have to do some digging <laughs> before we can collect clovers. So don't bother, you know, dealing with the grass. But you might want to clear up other bits of the area because that's the only way that they will respawn as new things. Which just does that. So leave the grass alone. And grab everything else, so hopefully more grass will spawn. <laughs> uh, Sam is hard at work <laughs> fixing her tractor. Let's go up to the shepherds. And clear up there. We might have stuff to do. And we need to talk to Ezra. Arf, arf, Ezra. We need your help. Hello, Hannah, Levi. How's the leg? Ah. Oh, it's much better. Thanks. Oof! <laughs> Ezra! Jenny, you've met our dog already, right? Not officially. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ezra. Oof! I heard he knows how to track. My own dog is not so talented with that stuff. They are both herding dogs. But we'll, we'll say Ezra can track. <laughs> Yours is cool, but Ezra is the best tracker in the world, right, good boy? My grandpa is still missing, but I've got this letter. Could Ezra track his scent in the woods? <laughs> Maybe. Let's try. It'll be like a treasure <laughs> hunt. But the treasure is Ginny's grandfather. <laughs> Here, Ezra. Good boy. Where's the grandpa? Find the grandpa boy. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. A real treasure hunt. Yeah. <laughs> Let's follow him. And off they go. Aren't they cute? <laughs> It's a real treasure hunt. As we, you know, search for places to dig. Grab things. Leaving the grass, because we want as many grass piles as possible. And we're looking for clovers later. Alright, into the woods. Through, over the river, and through the woods. Huh. <laughs> well, that's actually mildly accurate. Now, there actually really aren't dig points here in the woods. Actually, I don't think as much. So, let's not, we, let's not worry too much about collecting things and find out what Ezra's doing. Hey! <laughs> there he is! Yes, Hannah, I can see that. Good boy! What is it? Woof! Well, I think he's pointing to the island on the lake. Oh dear. Mm. How do we get there? It's too far to swim. Ah. We could use a boat, dummy. Children. Uh. Hey, I'm not a dummy. You are. Besides, the boat's broken. It does look pretty damaged. We can fix it. I fix things with Dad all the time. 
Let me have a closer look at it. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't look too bad. There's some a wood here I can use to start with the okay. repair. I really hope you can fix this, Levi, said Hannah. Hmm. I don't want to sink halfway to the island. Hmm. <laughs> She's got a point. We won't sink, Levi proclaims. I'm sure we'll be fine, right, Levi? Let's fix it together. I'm not the best swimmer. Are you really sure, Levi? And maybe we better ask your dad or Owen for help. Let's fix it together. <laughs> yeah! Together it will be a piece of cake. I'll start then, but we need more stuff, though, like wooden things. All right, I'll grab what we need. You both stay here with Ezra. So, let's see. What do we need to repair the boat? Ten logs, ten screws, and nine hundred coins. What are we doing? Giving giving the kid nine hundred coins? Uh, but we can fix the boat. Let's fix the boat. See, I told you I could do it. If it sinks, I'm telling Dad. It won't sink. All right, you two, let's get on board. Best treasure hunt ever. So now we can get smiling and we've leveled up. So let's grab. We used to farm tools. Let's grab a construction token. Because we don't have any. All right, let's go to the island. So this is called Mole Island. Here we are. And Ezra's gonna run up. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Woofles! Hey. Follow him! Follow him, everyone. Where is he going? Of course, he gives us a tracker for my dog, but not his. Go oh, figure. Oh, wait. These little mushrooms are a little annoying to find. <laughs> Something on it. Oh no. <clears throat> it's shady. <sighs> right, so what's the something on the there's something red on the ground and there is a black cat on top of it who is hissing. Hiss. <gasps> Unless my grandpa is hiding behind the stone by chance, it seems like a dead end. So Ezra brought us all the way out to pay catch with a cat? This can't be it. There has to be another clue here. <laughs> That's right. Spoken like a true adventurer. Keep searching. <sighs> Look, there's something under Shady's paws. Maybe I can get it. Good girl, Shady. Good girl. Can I just... <sighs> no. <laughs> Try giving her some fish. Cats love fish. All right, so Shady wants catfish. Okay, well, we have a bit of a problem. <laughs> Shady might want catfish, but um, we don't, we can't fish. So, we need to gather, we have two horseradish, we have five worms. Okay. But we have made a significant dent into the next part of the story. We know that he has, Grandpa has, <clears throat> has he gone down to the rusty hook and bought something, though the fisherman won't tell us what. We know that he need, he had a cooking magazine, a cooking magazine, but the whole place is well, currently, the woman is very distraught since the chakras, according to her, are out of whack. And we need to, um. And Shady, the cat, is sitting on top of what looks like to me like a piece of cloth and will not move. 
which is just like a cat. So, for now, I'm going to leave it here. And I am between this time and next time, I will work off screen towards grabbing all the items we need to advance in the story. So, thank you for listening. Bless. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you in the next video.